What's going on everybody? Chad Winstead here with SLR Lounge and Visual Flow Presets. And today I'm gonna give you three tips on retouching skin in Lightroom. Let's check it out. All right guys, so tip number one is to use the spot removal tool to heal skin imperfections. So after I've selected my favorite preset and I've made my tonal adjustments, I'm gonna zoom in on my subject's face. I'm gonna select Q on the keyboard to open up our spot removal panel. Now I'm going to use the size of the brush slightly larger than any bump or imperfection that we're trying to heal. Okay, so you'll notice I said the word heal, and that's actually what we're doing over here. We're selecting the heal brush. We have the feather set to 75 and the opacity set to 100, and that generally works pretty well. Now what doesn't always work well is sometimes the auto select portion will select the wrong portion of an image. So what you'll have to do is just simply drag and manually adjust to make it look more natural. Once we're happy with our selections, we're gonna close out and zoom back out. Tip number two is to use the Visual Flow Smooth Skin Brush from the Retouching Toolkit. So you'll find that right here. And what we're gonna do is brush loosely over our subject's skin, okay? Now, the reason I'm brushing loosely is I wanna show you a trick. So we're gonna come down the range mask, we're gonna select color, and I'm gonna select the dropper tool here. Now, I'm gonna come in and select my subject's skin with that dropper. After I've done that, I'm gonna hover my mouse over the dot here. And you'll see that the skin smoothing is only being applied to the areas that are shown in red. Now, typically this does a really good job of keeping it off of things like her necklace, her dress, places that we don't want to lose sharpness on. Now you'll notice on this particular image, it actually went over her eyes and her teeth just a little bit. So what we're gonna do is select erase and we're gonna erase the skin smoothing off of her eyes, her eyebrows and her teeth where we wanna maintain some sharpness. Once we are happy with our selection, we're gonna close out of there and we're gonna move on to sharpening for tip number three. Now, the Visual Flow presets automatically come with sharpening already applied, but what we're gonna pay attention to real quick is the masking portion. So I'm gonna hold down the Option key on my keyboard and I'm gonna grab the masking slider. Now, I'm just gonna make sure that there's no white portion on her skin. Areas of the image that show up in white are where sharpening is being applied, and the dark areas are showing where sharpening is not applied. So we wanna make sure that the skin is a dark portion of the area because we don't wanna undo anything that we just did as far as skin smoothing and adding artifacts or anything like that onto the skin. So there you have it, three tips for retouching skin in Lightroom. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more content coming soon. And join us over on Facebook at the Visual Flow Presets and Lightroom Education Facebook group. We'll see you there.